In this video, we'll have a look at the composition of lipids, proteins and carbohydrates. So we'll start by looking at the composition of lipids. So lipids or fats and oils are made up of triglycerides. Triglycerides are formed in a condensation reaction between a glycerol backbone and three fatty acids. So here we have a molecule of glycerol, which is also called propane 1, 2, 3 triol. And here's a fatty acid. Fatty acids have a long hydrocarbon chain with a carboxyl group, which is a C double bond O, COH group at one end. So here we have the condensation reaction between a molecule of glycerol and three fatty acids to form a triglyceride and three molecules of water. The bond between the glycerol molecule and the fatty acid is called an ester link. Next we'll have a look at the composition of carbohydrates, specifically monosaccharides. So here we have a molecule of glucose which is a six carbon sugar. So monosaccharides have a carbonyl group, a C, double bonded to an oxygen, which you can see here on, in the glucose molecule. They have at least two OH groups, glucose has five. They have an empirical formula of CH2O. Well, the molecular formula for glucose is C6H12O6, therefore the empirical formula is CH2O. And finally, monosaccharides make up disaccharides and polysaccharides, and starch is an example of a polysaccharide. And finally, the composition of proteins. Proteins are polymers made up of amino acids, which are the monomers. Amino acids contain the NH2 or amino group and the COOH or the carboxylic acid group. Amino acids form proteins in condensation reactions. Here's the structure of a 2-amino acid. It's a 2-amino acid because the R group, which is different for every amino acid, is on carbon number 2. We have the amino group, the NH2 group here, and the C double bond O, OH group, or the carboxyl group on the right here. And amino acids, in this example, we have alanine and glycine. They react together, forming a peptide bond, which is a condensation reaction in which a molecule of water is released.